Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made a game in Unity Game Engine without even opening Unity Game Engine. So I used Cursor AI for this along with uh, GitHub. And uh, basically what I did was I created a new repository on my GitHub account and connected it with uh, Cursor AI via web and then give it a few prompts so you can see this is the repository that i created i've also uploaded it on my public uh, github account so you can check out my github repository uh, along with that i am also creating a bunch of interesting repositories for you guys to check out so uh, follow my github profile for more such interesting repositories i'll be posting them very often uh, now let me get started on how i did this okay so uh, as you can see over here this is the repository that I created for this simple tic-tac-toe game and uh, this is a prompt that I gave to cursor at the very beginning you can see that it's connected to my uh, github repository the name of this repository is exactly the same as uh, my github uh, repository so both of them are connected so essentially how, what I did was I started off with uh, you know giving it a very small interesting prompt uh, to build a mobile tic-tac-toe game now when I did this I did not specify what technology to use so it essentially what uh, what it did was it just created a simple tic-tac-toe game in whatever technology it felt comfortable with because I had not specified that parameter exactly so you can see over here there's a readme file along with the index.html so basically it created a simple html tic-tac-toe game as you can see in these branches the very first branch that was created by the agent was this particular branch uh, wherein we can see that it's a mobile optimized tic-tac-toe game uh, which I specified and it used HTML, CSS and JavaScript to make this game and this is how what it uh, came up with uh, so you know pretty neat game actually with just a single prompt you can see there's a fully functional version of tic-tac-toe or xn0 and um, it, it basically just works you know it's it's elegant it's simple it's got some neat effects and um, you know i was very surprised that cursor was able to do that with just a single prompt imagine what can happen with you know dedicating your time and effort to actually refine things change the art assets and whatnot uh, but this was not my aim. My aim was to make a unity based tic-tac-toe game, right? So then um, I started giving a few prompts and uh, as you can see like, you know, uh, I had to work through multiple branches. I gave uh, cursor lots and lots of prompts. Um, it actually made a few mistakes uh, while creating the unity project. Uh, there were a bunch of stuff that happened as you can see through the commits i also had to do some manual edits but most of them most of these uh, branches or changes were done completely with the cursor and uh, using these uh, i started to merge them with the main branch and uh, it, it was working fine for me you know so there were a few frustrating moments in between which cursor did not recognize and uh, it, it basically just you know was doing a lot of errors but this is what it came up with uh, now over here i had to manually set a few things you can see like you know all these scripts that you can see by the way are completely generated with cursor i used different different models i used claude and then o3 and then i set it to auto so you know these were the scripts completely generated by ai and uh, the canvas part was something that i had to manually set uh, you know cursor is also very good at identifying your scene data uh, but i thought that i'll just take a little bit of manual control and as you can see in front of you i'm going to quickly play this so i had a small play button that activates the game and it works uh, just like the html version of the tic-tac-toe game uh, the only difference is that here we are working with the unity native uh, stuff that is available to us so you know visually the game is not as good looking as the html version that we saw earlier but imagine like if cursor can do this with just simple buttons and all imagine having proper art assets inside your project folder it can literally analyze your entire project folder for you 
do things for you without you having to worry about anything so definitely i would recommend you to check out cursor and additionally uh, also do check out my uh, github profile i'm creating a bunch of interesting repositories including your usual game development concepts so as you can see i've created two repositories apart from this object pooling as well as a procedural story generator uh, that is pretty cool also as well but yeah in a gist that was basically all about this uh, repository that i created it also has an extensive readme uh, documentation as well so you can check it out and uh, you can see in the contributors uh, you can see my two profiles and cursor agent so i have like one personal account and a small educator account so that is something that i used to give my commits uh, as you can see like you know major commits were given by cursor agents uh, a profile and then three and three that is a total of six commits that were given manually from my side to just tweak a few things here and there so that's about it for this video if you like this video hit the like button if you're finding my channel for the first time hit the subscribe button i'm a game developer by profession and i make videos on games and game development thank you very much for watching i'll see you in my next one until then take care